This week, I got a lot of questions about an article by Dennis Overby in the New York Times titled How to Peer Through a Wormhole. This article says, theoretically, the universe may be riddled with tunnels through space and time and goes on to explain that wormholes are another prediction of Einstein's theory of general relativity, which has already delivered such wonders as an expanding universe and black holes. Therefore, so Overby tells his readers, it is reasonable to study whether the black hole in the center of our Milky Way is such a wormhole. The trouble with this article is that it makes it appear as if wormholes are a prediction of general relativity comparable to the prediction of the expansion of the universe and the prediction of black holes. But this is most definitely not so. Overby kind of says this by alluding to some magic that is necessary to have wormholes, but unfortunately he does not say it very clearly. This has caused quite some confusion. On Twitter, for example, Natalie Wolchover has put wormholes on par with gravitational waves. So here are the facts. General relativity is based on Einstein's field equations, which determine the geometry of space-time as a consequence of the energy and matter that is in that space-time. General relativity has certain kinds of wormholes as solutions. These are the so-called Einstein-Rosen bridges. There are two problems with those. First, no one knows how to create them with a physically possible process. It's one thing to say that the solution exists in the world of mathematics. It's another thing entirely to say that such a solution describes something in our universe. There are whole books full with solutions to Einstein field equations. Most of these solutions have no correspondence in the real world. Second, even leaving aside that they won't be created during the evolution of the universe, nothing can travel through these wormholes. If you want to keep a wormhole open, you need some kind of matter that has a negative energy density, which is stuff that for all we know does not exist. Can you write down the mathematics for it? Yes. Do we have any reason whatsoever to think that this mathematics describes the real world? No. And that, folks, is really all there is to say about it. It's mathematics and we have no reason to think it's real. In this, wormholes are very, very different to the predictions of the expanding universe, gravitational waves and black holes. The expanding universe, gravitational waves and black holes are consequences of general relativity. You have to make an effort to avoid that they exist. It's the exact opposite with wormholes. You have to bend over backwards to make the math work so that they can exist. Now, certain people like to tell me that this should count as healthy speculation and I should stop complaining about it. These certain people are either physicists who produce such speculations or science writers who report about it. In other words, they are people who make a living getting you to believe in this mathematical fiction. But there is nothing healthy about this type of speculation. It's wasting time and money that would be better used on research that could actually advance physics. Let me give you an example to see the problem. Suppose the same thing would happen in medicine. Doctors would invent diseases that we have no reason to think exist. They would then write papers about how to diagnose those invented diseases and how to cure those invented diseases and, for good measure, argue that someone should do an experiment to look for their invented diseases. Sounds ridiculous? Yeah, it is ridiculous. But that's exactly what's going on in the foundations of physics and it has been going on for decades, which is why no one sees anything wrong with it anymore. Is there at least something new that would explain why the New York Times reports on this? What's new is that two physicists have succeeded in publishing a paper which says that if the black hole in the center of our galaxy is a transversible wormhole, then maybe we might be able to see this. The idea is that if there is stuff moving around the other end of the wormhole, then we might notice the gravitational influence of that stuff on our side of the wormhole. Is it possible to look for this? Yes. It's also possible to look for alien spaceships coming through and chances are next week a paper will get published about this in the New York Times reports. Thank you for your questions and thanks for watching.